In this video, I want to go through a CFA level one exam style question on percentiles. And this is part one. So there's going to also be part two and I guess part three as well when we where we will discuss more advanced uh, measurements. So um, if you want to get this right in the exam, keep watching and let's get solving. So this is the rather lengthy question that we're going to have a go at, but a lot of it is the table with the data. So the table below shows the price to earnings, PE ratios computed at a single point in time for 19 companies in the same industry, ranked in ascending order. The data, and then the third quartile and second quintile for the PE distribution are closest to. Okay, well... Generally speaking, in the exam, you may be asked about percentiles, quartiles, quintiles, deciles, etc., etc., and you'll need to understand how to deal with this. And um, basically, I'm going to write down some definitions. We already know from previous questions what the median is. It's the observation which splits the whole data set into two equal halves. So this one divides either the population or the you know, data set into um, or in half. We also have other points. And these are going to be quartiles. And um, quartiles they're the same thing. They divide the data set, but as you can, I guess, logically um, guess, it's not going to be in half, it's going to be in quarters. We also have something called quintiles, which this question asks about as well. So quintiles. These have the effect of dividing the population or the data set into fifths. We've got deciles, which do the same thing but dividing it into tenths. And finally, we've got percentiles. And basically, whatever you're asked about, at the end of the day, you're going to turn this into a percentile, which is why I, call, why I called this question percentiles, even though it asks about quartiles and quintiles, because at the end of the day, we're going to be converting into percentiles, which divide the data set in um, hundreds. Let me make sure I... You know, um, write this correctly, hundreds, hopefully that's fine. Okay, so how do we now proceed? Well, the question asks for the third quartile and then the second quintile. Let's start with the quartile. The third quartile is basically equivalent to the 75th percentile. And that's going to be the observation which causes the following effect three quarters of the data will be, so three quarters of the observations will be or will lie at or below this figure and the remaining quarter of observations will lie at or above this figure. Now, given that we've got 19 observations in total and this one the the, the quartile appears or the um, 75th percentile appears as both um you know three quarters at or below and one quarter at or above we're going to be basically looking at something where 15 observations fit this criterion and five observations this one because the at appears twice, both here and here. So let's think about what this will be. Um, it will naturally be, and I guess you can um, get this straight away, it will be observation number 15. So it's this one, isn't it? So it's observation with a value of 19. And that pretty much solves the question, doesn't it? Because the answer to this question has to be answer A, which says the third quartile is 19. But how do we got, get the position of this percentile? So 75th percentile position. Well, it's going to be observation number n plus 1 
n is the total number of observation, observations, sorry, in this case it's 19. So n plus 1, 19 plus 1, 20, times 75, which I get from the fact that this is the 75th per percentile, divided by 100. So 20 times 3 quarters, 75 over 100, it's observation number 15, when these observations are indeed ranked in um, ascending uh, order, okay? And we identified it as observation number 19 here for the 15th company, 19, it was already ranked in ascending order. So what about the second one? That's the second quintile. And um, okay, quintiles, they um, divide the distribution into fifths. So I guess the second quintile is the same as the 40th percentile. And that means four tenths or two fifths of the observations lie at or below, and the remaining three fifths lie at or above. Well, let's think about the position. So, percentile, 40th percentile position. That's simply going to be n plus 1 times 40 over 100. So once again, 20 times 4 over 10. And that is going to be observation number 8. Let's see. Observation number 8. It's here sort of in the middle, right? And uh, that's going to be the 14.7. But that once again just simply confirms that we're correct before by stating, okay, we already have an answer. It has to be answer A, doesn't it? Because answer A provides 19, that's the uh, 15th observation, 19 as the correct answer, and 8, uh, observation number 8, which gives us a result of 14.7 for the second quintile, it's A. But don't make the mistake of simply identifying the position, um, identify the correct value.